Hello everyone, welcome back to the Blockman Editor tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. In this video, we will introduce the reward components, and how to achieve the logic of handing out rewards through the use of reward components. Let's get started. First of all, take a look at the Parker game in the video. When the player comes to the orange platform, the player will get two items as a reward for reaching that platform. Next, let's get to know the reward components of the editor by implementing the effect of handing out item rewards to players. To issue a reward to a player, we have to create a reward template first. Click on the reward component in the game components view. Click the Create Reward button or the New button below. Enter the name and click Confirm. With this, we have finished creating a reward template. However, it is only an empty template, and cannot yet achieve the effect of rewarding items. Next, we need to add some items to the template as a reward to send to the player. Here have prepared two items, they are the Jump Burger and the Accelerate Carrot. We use these two items as the reward. Select the reward template we just created. Click the new button on the right side of the reward list in the properties panel to add a new reward item. Since we have two items as the reward, let's click the new button once more. In the first reward item, select item for the type attribute. The item name attribute selects any one of the prepared items. Enter one and one for the quantity range property. For the second reward item, except for the item name, for everything else select the same properties as the first reward item. Once the reward template is set up, we can use the template to give out rewards to the players. Select a part in the scene, and we will reward the players who touch the part with the item rewards we have just set up. Open the trigger editor for the part, and create a new trigger when the part is touched by an entity. Under the Entity node, find the Give Rewards node and use it to issue the specified rewards to the specified players. Here we are giving the player entities that touches the part with the reward we just set up. After completing the logic, go back to the editor, run the game, and look at the results. As you can see, the player gets the reward we set each time he touches the part and the quantity is 1 each time. Close the game window and let's adjust the quantity range property. For example, the quantity range of the burger item is modified to 1 to 2, and the quantity range of the carrot item is modified to 3 to 4. Run the game again and see the results. As you can see, now when the player touches the part, the number of items he gets each time is no longer fixed at 1, it is randomized within the number we set. The type property of the reward is list in addition to item. If we choose list, the editor will select the items from the set list and give it to the player as rewards. We can set the quantity range and the weight of each item according to the design of the game. Let's see how to set up such an effect. First, delete the previously set rewards. The delete operation is simply to click on the pop-up button on the right, and then click on the delete option. Click the add button on the right side of the reward list to add a new reward item. Select list for the type property. Within the basic property, there are two attributes, namely quantity range and list. We first fill in the quantity range with 0 and 0. Then click the new button on the right side of the list property to add two new reward items. You can see that the rewards appear here are very similar to the rewards we set in the item type before. The reward item here has an additional property weight, the larger the value of the property, the greater the probability of obtaining the item. Except for the weight property, the rest of the properties are exactly the same as the previously set reward item. 
We start by adding the carrot and burger item and setting the quantity range to be distributed. In the weight property of the carrot item, we fill in 10. In the weight attribute of the burger item, we fill in 1. Let's run the game and see the results. We will find that when the player touches the parts, nothing is rewarded. Why is that? It turns out that the quantity range property of the list type controls the number range of random selections. Instead, we set the range to 0 to 0, which means that no random sampling operation will be performed. We adjust the quantity range property to 1 to 1. Run the game again and see the results. As you can see, each time you touch the part, the player will get one of the two items in the list, and the one with a higher weight is easier to obtain. In addition, we will find that the rewards set in the list can be continued with the list type. By using such nested formats, a very extensive reward handout system can be designed. For more information about the reward component, you check out the official website user manual. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to becoming a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.